So I had 40 days in Japan, and I was able to go uh, a lot. And I saw as much kabuki as I could, uh, both in Tokyo uh, and wherever else I could. And then I went to uh, Osaka and saw the Bunraku. And the, the no theater, as maybe I said, was you couldn't see in the summer because the masks are too, the costumes are too heavy. But there I think I became a writer because the Japanese showed me something that I didn't quite understand, and that is that you can make something out of very simple elements as long as they are very basic elements. Every Japanese inn has a little shrine, and you have a little vase, and you have a reed, and you have a very simple picture with a few lines of ink on it and a stone, some sand, that's all. And I went to the Ruanji Stone Garden, which is a Zen garden outside of Kyoto. And that thing is like perfect. I've never seen anything that I thought was perfect before. And you go through a temple, and these, temp these temples, every, um, every day they've been polished, you know, with, for a thousand years, and they're, they're like satin. The wood is like satin, and you walk through, and on the, on the other side, there's this big garden. And I got there, I don't know, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and sat down to look at this, and it's just a great big long rectangle with rocks made like the sea, with seven large rocks like islands in the sea. Not particularly interesting. And the day, went, the day was gone. The next thing I knew, it was, it was the afternoon. I was just, you know, something like that. So I learned a lot, and when I came back, I, I stopped being, I got a degree as a director, and then when I came into New York, I uh, started writing. So I think Japan really kind of did that in some strange, I mean, it interacted with a lot of other stuff, you know. I'd never thought I could be a writer because my life was so ordinary in so many ways. And then I realized that, no, if, uh, if stones and sand can be as extraordinary as this. If a few simple basic elements can be so organized by an artist that it holds together, then by God I could do that out of what, I've, what I know, which isn't much, but which is, is something. And I began to have respect for the very basic things that all human beings go through, which after all is what a work of art is made of. If it isn't, it's not going to appeal to, to you know, enough people to make it 